What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today we have somebody that's returning, but this time he's returning as the quarantine class champion. You know we have in the building today, we have DJ Cheeky Dubs straight out of Panama representing the whole of Latin America and everything right there. Cheeky Dubs, what's good my brother? There, I mean, there, one well, well, muscle, everything bless. Everything, How are you, is, my brother? everything is great. Welcome back. I know we spoke well, a couple of weeks ago. You were yeah, a man. competitor, but now we're speaking today and you are the champion. Power of the quarantine class. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so happy right now, you know, yeah. with this interview, all the things that's happened the last two years. You know. It's been good. Yeah, man, for real, I tell you. Proper, proper. How do you you feel when you know when they said the winner is Cheeky Dubs? How did it make you feel? Yo, this made me feel proud from all my work and the sports that I put it like, you know, on this month because, not from this month, from all, like, from the beginning of my career, you know? Yeah. So it's like, wow, I see the, the craft right now, you know? Yeah, and that that's amazing, especially because again, a lot of us were introduced to Cheeky Dubs just a couple of weeks ago, and just now to know that okay, you were introduced, but now you become the winner of the quarantine class competition. <laughs> that's crazy, right there. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> is this a uh, first time with the really but a sub class, you know? First time. So it's, yeah, first time. How's I tell you the first interview? Yeah. This is my really like first time. Really like okay. Ready for work, see? Yeah. So Crazy. in this month, if you realize, it's not only was 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 one class, was three of them, you know? <laughs> so yeah. in, at the end, it's like, yo, in one month, you win this class, three yeah. class. Yeah. yeah. Yo, That's fire, fire. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go. Let's go through actually some of the competitions here because the first one was you versus Irie Crew with no. um, T Irie and those guys here. Let's talk about that one. What did you think about that clash there? That clash that was no was easy. First of all, you know, with all of the dog players and yeah. you know, Irie Crew is no uh, a PAB sound. No, mm-hmm. they come from back in the day too, so they know about clash. They win a clash already. But I feel that this clash have a team. I feel like if Smokey, that is the MC from this and Eric Group, was on this clash, everything will be different. You know? Because I feel that Tison is a wicked selector, but maybe in a speech or maybe the English, I don't want to speak about the English about maybe but in a the mic. It's yeah. not the same energy, so I try to, you know, I have a humble doublets, you know, yeah. between biggest doublet. I don't want to say expensive doublet, but biggest doublet. Yeah. See, but you know what? Me have to put my energy. People have to feel it that me want to win this yes. class. Yes, you I know. That. So this was the different. Maybe Smokey there in the MC, a Tisa in the D, in the yeah. mixing will be different because this one can concentrate more, you know? So this was like, but anyway, I fight it until, you know, you yeah. get to the semi-final. Do you remember one of the most, one of the biggest dubs that they actually played on you that night where you said, okay, you know what? I got to really find something to get around this. Which one, mine or? Yeah, for I recruit. Do you remember a dub in particular, like, holy smokes, that was a big dub there. You yeah, man. Really hey, hey, no, man, we don't have to think about, yo, everybody knows this dub. Very summer, Buju and who else? Uh, was it Barrington Levy? No, 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 no. I was very summer, mm-hmm. Buju, yeah. and an expensive auntie, the whole whole was it Damon uh, Marley? I forgot. No, 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 it was no. something crazy. Crazy. Buju, Berries, yo. <laughs> yo, this? Yeah. This is another level, you know? So we have to respect that. Yeah. But still, you know? You were able to still, even though that was a big monster song, and when, when you heard it, it's like, hmm, this is a big one. But you still were able to get around it down in the end. 
Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so then that's I recruit. Right after that was base foundation roots. All right. That one there was another big matchup because now we're looking yes. at Delhi from India and Cheeky Dubs from Panama, which are two regions we generally don't hear like a sound clash from. So to see both you guys in that one there, crazy. That was one of my favorite clashes of the entire series. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's talk about yeah. that one there. What was what do you think was the best part about that clash there? Alright, so this clash for me was different. Yeah. Because one of us want to win this. You know what I mean? To represent for the first time <laughs> our country. So this was like, yo, it's you or it's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what's very interesting for me, and um, you know, for me, the other side was like different because it was more like vinyl with controller. No, it's in there with controller because with vinyl, it must take a time to mix, and you know, it's a different because I feel that if it's a vinyl class, yeah, yo, it must worry about the player in my But for this, right now, on this time, you need energy and you need to play yeah. soon. Yeah. This is yeah. what people want yeah. to hear. Play. History, not too much history. History that do everything, but yeah. yo, this, this have a different type of different type of clash, for me, my opinion, you know. Yeah. But anyway, I respect Delhi Santa, you know, I respect BS Foundation Roots, you know, but I feel like this was the different people check this, you know, and say, yo, you know what? We want this, you know, energy. Because it must energy too. It must class. Maybe he don't have energy, but it make the, the, the class with class. Yes. You know? Yes, so and that was the, Delhi there. He, no. his, he presented it in a totally different fashion. You're right. I, I, it wasn't an energy thing. It was a I, I, real classy, this is him and Radigan and those type of sounds fit perfectly in that type of arena. Yeah, we don't want to mention Radigan, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that type of style. You know what I mean? And what would you say with that class here? What would you say was the hardest part for you to actually go around in that class? Ooh, the big play or the yeah, moment. something that he played. Yep. What was the hardest song to go around in the Bass Foundation Roots Clash? Uh, me no know right now about this because I feel like he played different sound than me. Yeah. So he might have him style, but me have my style. His Got style it. is more like BS, like dubstep, like more. But for me, this moment when I feel that, yo, it's my moment that to take it like yeah. and start to <laughs> you know to yeah. go away. So it's like when you play this place of El Chombo, that one you have to be producer of Panama. When you play this, I say, yo, you play splice already, already. So this was like, you know, the moment where I say like, yo, right now I take it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was big here. One of one of the most memorable moments of that class here was when his wife started to sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. memorable. You know what I mean? yeah. Wow, I didn't see that one there coming at all. Okay, when did when you class with Jamaica or with me? No, when okay, you know what? No, because it was when, when, yeah, when he when 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 he sent it to when when he when he put his wife to sing yeah. again. Yeah. I tell you to send your wife to make some curry chicken <laughs> Because really and truly, this is a grudge between me and him. You yeah. know what I mean? So you have to call your wife to defend you. Yeah. I know this respect, you know, but this type of... In this moment, I remember that I tell you this. Yeah. <laughs> well, why you call your wife back in, man? We just make a word, but no with me, brother. Yeah. See, so this is the moment when I feel that... It, made me feel like nervous like start to feel like yo this boy not coming to you yeah yeah no i seen it's like you were just in his neck the same <laughs> with i recruit you're just in your neck but you see that now okay that was the um the i recruit that was the first clash base yeah. foundation roots was the second and then now let's get to the third one which you won this is where you won the entire competition was where you were versus um mystical youths all right yeah. To me personally, this is just me. 
this was the most evenly matched as in energy wise out of all the clashes because Allen came out swinging and you came out swinging too. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that like people was waiting more like mass aggressive from my side. Yeah. You know? But just I changed the a little bit the you know I said, you know what? You love to be aggressive. Yeah. You gotta take it by a different way. Yeah. You understand? Let's talk and talk and talk anything you want to say. But anyway, yo, mythical yo, be pretty, you know. I like I'm pretty. Yeah. But in a clash, you know, yeah. we have to do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. No, it's because it, mystical as again, as I said, from the first time I heard mystical youth, they came out swinging from their other clashes. They were yeah. swinging. Too. You know what I mean? <laughs> no talking. No talking. Yeah. Disrespecting everybody. And this is part of the clash. Yeah. No, he did, he did wicked, and I could see even yeah. if you see on Sunday, you could see your mood wasn't the the same cheeky dubs mood that we seen in the other two clashes. This one was a bit more serious and a bit more edgy. Like you're you're you're, you're ready right now, and I mean the other two was nice and light, and you're you're more smiling and stuff. But this one here, you were a bit more serious last yeah. week Sunday. More sure, of me, I feel like you know what. I was like very studying him, like yo. I watched some some video for him. And I said, yo, you know what? We have a with the clash, you know. We have to do some things. We call Apache Indian. We call my my friend Junior Theater. Yo, we have an idea and say, yo, do it. The first time you have to do this, do yeah. India. So, you know. Yeah. So I start to make my link. So I go, yo, you know, I have to be ready. So yeah. The day of the clash. When the start, when the flash start, I talk it to myself and I say, yo, you know what? I know it's going to start. So, me I will put energy, but in a different way. Me yeah. I will show him, like, this is not only talking and rare. He have a good speech. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's not all about the speech. It's a yeah. speech and juggling. You understand? This was like a high crew, maybe. You know? I recruit him not have a speech, but him have the job You know? Okay. But this man, him have the speech. But I don't want to say that he not have, he not have the job But yeah. he never showed the real job like mixing and so I'm talking to myself and you know what? You have to, you know? Yeah. How to know how to deal with this. Which makes, it makes sense. Yeah, man, you did very good. What's the... What's the biggest thing that you've learned throughout this whole competition? Discipline and focus. I have this already, but mm -hmm. I learned more about it. Yeah. You know, discipline and focus are really, truly like, yo, this is what I want. Creative, creativity, you know, I have to be creativity and do my best. Yeah. You know? Makes makes a lot of sense. And even before we even leave the clash, what was the hardest part of the um, finals for you with you and our mystical youths? Mm, I feel like the, the intro round mm -hmm. it a wicked. I feel like yo, if it was for a point, if it was like if it's fought in this round, it might win this round. But after from the first round. I feel like, yo, you know what? Because I, I even, even, you know, when I was set up my thing, I said, you know what? We're not going to come to in at the intro. Yeah. So I know I'm going to match up in at the intro, but I love to play my Bob Marley song in at the intro. So you don't know if I spent too much time on this Bob Marley, but this Bob Marley song yeah. was like very spiritual to me, to play. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's talking what, Happened right now in the world. Mm -hmm. Makes 100% sense. Makes sense. What's next for Cheeky Dubs right now? Right now, more work. Um, I want to start to produce more songs. You know, I have this a little bit more uh, living, you know, so I have to take away, I have to take it again and make some, you know, producer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, we are already be. The, everything what's coming after this coronavirus done, you know? Yeah. So, 
That's true. And what's the vibe like in Panama right now? Is uh, Are you guys still on quarantine? Is it coming to an end? What's the issue over there now? It's coming to an uh, end. Uh, from yesterday, Monday, we start to, like, okay, everybody can go out. But okay. until 7 p.m. After 7 p.m., yeah. we can go out. Yeah. So, I don't really, right now, like, to go out and... No, I want to do it and see what I want to do. I feel like it's too early mm -hmm. right now for this boy. We still have to do our life and everything, but with the total what we hear and all these things, what is happening right now, it's not only coronavirus, all these things, it's like, oh, yeah. I want to watch all the things from my house and make sure I can go out, you know, because yeah. I really worry about this. No, that's, that's true, because it's serious right now. But again, where you guys just did like a five-week clash and all these stuff there, so it keeps people home, keeps them entertained and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you being in this competition that was so long, now this coming Sunday, you don't have no competition. What are you going to do moving forward? Are you going to do like a weekly radio show, put out some mixes? you have any idea what you're going to do moving forward? Yeah, man, we have a radio show uh, before I have it from Monday to Friday. Uh, but for this competition thing, I put it like only Tuesday and Thursday. I think so I'm going to take it back to like from Monday to Friday in my Instagram, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm going to make some mix here. People are waiting for a new mix, uh, new music. I'm going to make some new producer right now. No party after this clash. I give them Wachifali and Warriors and all many laser and medicine and the, all the organizers, you know, to do reality because this clash really helped me a lot, really a big sport, you know, and enough artists link from new artists and, you know, okay. new artists, icon artists, so it's like, hey, right now they want to support me and we have a new project, so it's like, a good opportunity at home after this class, so we give them for this. Yeah, because you understand, because being on a platform like a major laser platform definitely exposes you to some people that you probably have no idea where to find these people. Yeah, um, one of the things that we like to do is that my people too, mm -hmm. they start to follow them, they start to follow Watchifier, Warrior Sound, Soundclash.com. It's like if they want to learn right now about Soundclash. Even in the Panama, they start to make like a clash. DJ, you could hear like, hey, who played the best 45 round? Rare, 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 like Instagram yeah. clash. And this is nice. You know what I mean? It's like I inspire it. We, we inspire people, you know what I mean? So this yeah. is like part of our mission, you know? So I feel proud of it to be part of the history because yeah. we make history. For sure, 100%. And what's the vibe in Panama? Are the people proud in Latin America? Are they proud of your accomplishments? Yeah. Or what's the vibe out there? Yeah, man. Today I was in a newspaper. In a newspaper? Yeah, man. Just today I was in a, like, two, three station, man. People are okay. talking about this, like, it's some program, like, in the morning, like, it's my Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, this thing is true. It's like this. Girl. So, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. People proud in a yeah man, in a newspaper TV show is like yeah, yeah man, we get a lot of interview right now, even them waiting for the full clip in a Gambia, in Africa, some people in the spin, you know. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. So, Again, no, this is just off of online. So imagine uh, as soon as this is done, you're gonna be flying and doing a lot of great things. Yeah, and I love to be part of this because I feel that my representation bring more people into the, you know what I mean? So it's bring more people to know about this business, know about this sound clash movement, and to inspire more DJs in Latin America, even in India, Yeah, you know? So it's like, I feel proud when I get a lot of message, a lot of picture, a lot of, you know, requests like, yo, yeah man. That's crazy. You're the first one to bring it back home to Panama, you know what I mean? As of course. Winning a sound cash, bringing it home, so then it just puts a spotlight on Panama and the rest of Latin America. 
Yes, man. That's true, though, you know? Crazy, Great. crazy, crazy. Last question before I get you out of here. Yes. When, it, when it came down to the voting, all right, how was it to wait for those 10 minutes before they came back with the answer? Um, what's very interesting, trust me, I was not like nervous, but yeah. I was like, anyway, Jaja, I was talking to myself inside, you know, I was talking to Jaja and I said, yo, anyway, you know, I feel good because yeah. I don't make no mistake in my round. I feel proud what I'm doing, my show, my performance. Mm -hmm. And I know this, if I don't win the trophy, I'm going to win more than that. Even I win already with more than the trophy and the money and all this thing because I will love for my family. I will love for the artists, so poor, you know. So this makes me more like, yo, I get my real craft, you know. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, I feel like, you know, I feel sure because uh, yo know, the way how I play, yeah, and the, and the yeah and the way you know it make a mistake because I play a cane boot, yeah, you know I feel I play cane boot. This guy, oh, what's his name from this show? Silver words, yes. I play silver words double for my first round after yes. the intro. When yeah, so when we see that we say yo. Why him a play that? Yeah. And after me look for a doppler that we have with Mighty Diamond and Ken Boots. I even me know one play this, me one play and for me say, yo no. <laughs> and I tell him, yo Alan, if he was in a real clash, like he was eliminated one time. Because I played this already. So on this moment, I feel like judge attack to me and tell me like check it up, I give you the trophy. So right now, it's only you have to know what you have to do. So that's why I tell you, you know what, blah, blah, blah. so you play when you play Mighty Diamond and Kimboot and Death in Death. You know? Crazy, crazy, crazy. crazy. So, I watched it from uh, beginning to end. It was a good clash. Yes, yeah, so after you know, the, when we was waiting for the answer, I'm telling to myself, I said, yo, no matter, you are with this clash, man. you are with this clash. Yeah. So, yeah, man. But then say you're cheeky dogs. They say yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> big up, big up, big up, big up. Trust me, cheeky, it's always a vibe. I can't wait to actually meet you in person and we sit down yes. wherever, talk, or you're in a dance, yeah, you yeah. come to Canada, I come to pa wherever, you know what I mean? Because online is cool, but in real life, yeah, of course. Vibe, it's a totally vibes. different thing. Yeah, yeah. right. That's what we Cheeky, yeah. any last words, any big ups, anything you want to say before I get you out of here? Yeah, man, I want to pick up everybody that was watching from the first to the end, you know, because it's a mission, not a competition. I pick up everybody that is a new into this sound clash, you know. This is a reggae music sound clash. It's a tour. It's not a rich sport, as I'm saying at the last line, uh, answer question, uh, round. so it's not a rich sport. Reggae music coming from so far in, so we have to understand this school, you know what I mean? So yeah. we are welcome any kind of type of little person, rich, but no matter what you are represent, this is all about the love and at first. This is what the people really have, the artists and the DJ they have the connection. And you know, we have to express with this sound clash. So we are inviting the new talent and everybody. So just can tell you, yo, brother, you have to believe in yourself, and when you're ready to do this, then you have to be focused and disciplined to do your thing. Because if you really want it, you can get it. See, everything is possible if you focus 100% in what you want to get. See? You, you understand 100% cheeky. I know this is second time we link there's so many more times we're gonna link but again yeah. big up yourself big up yourself big up yourself on a championship because yes. i know it couldn't be easy there was eight songs and you were the last song left standing seven of them no longer only you're the one. last one standing <laughs> <laughs> you understand big up yourself cheeky and big up everybody in panama in latin america and everywhere again all right my yes. brother 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.